Hello friends, it's Lara Erdley here. I am a pelvic floor strength educator and instructor. I've been teaching dynamic pelvic floor exercises for almost a decade now and I've taught thousands and thousands and thousands of very happy women. Uh, dynamic pelvic floor exercises not only eradicate incontinence, they also increase your libido manifold. They make you, make you very powerful in the bedroom and in your own uh, body and in your own life. Uh, but today this quick video is about the jade egg. Uh, women are coming to me in droves, writing to me in droves saying, Lara, What's the go with the jade egg? How do we choose? There's so many different ones to choose from. What do they all mean? What's it all about? I mean, I myself, I have like eight, I have, I have like eight different jade eggs, okay? So it's very confusing uh, for women because of many so-called leaders in the field of pelvic floor health and pelvic floor education are saying that you really should only use the jade, the green jade. In fact, they're saying the nephrite jade. This is actually not nephrite jade, but nephrite jade is close to this color. So many leaders in the field of the jade egg are saying that you should really only use nephrite jade, which is just, it's such a load of bollocks. I gotta tell you, I know those women that are leaders or apparently leaders in the field of the jade egg. And I have to say, Boo! Because they're charlatans. Because I am also taught by their teacher and their teacher's teacher. The woman I'm specifically thinking of right now that says only nephrite jade because it's non-porous and it's you know it's so uh, safe as far as infection is control is her teacher Mantak Chia, who is my teacher, actually teaches original Taoist sexual magic practices, which says actually. You begin with green jade for five years if you're a beginning practicer. Then after five, ten years, you can move to using a rose quartz jade egg because of the different metaphysical qualities of the crystals. So green jade balances the yang, the male energy in the female body. Rose quartz is a balancing for love for yourself and loving kindness for others. And then the third stone that you would use after you're an experienced practitioner and you're very enlightened as far as jade egg practice is, con is concerned is the obsidian, which is black as midnight, obsidian stone. And I'd like to show you that, but I can't because I'm wearing it. <laughs> that would be uncouth. So I'd just like to blow that out of the water. The only reason these women are saying to only use nephrite jade is because they want the money. Money, folks, is the root of all evil. I don't want the money. I want to eradicate incontinence. I want people to be very healthy in the pelvic floor. I mean, for goodness sakes, in ancient India, they're using wooden eggs. So that's certainly porous. And the leader, well, one of the most dynamic pelvic floor strength practitioners, Tatiana, the Russian in, in, in Russia, uh, she uses wooden eggs. And oh my goodness, then we have people saying, oh, wait, the jade eggs, they're porous. You can get an infection called, um, you know, like when you use a tampon for more than eight hours, you get toxic shock syndrome. So there's some ridiculous arguments saying, ooh, you better not use anything but nephrite jade in case you get toxic shock syndrome. Now, if you use one of my jade eggs, regardless of which one you choose, and you get toxic shock syndrome, then my first thought would be, hmm, are you a dirty woman? Are you hygienic? You don't put a jade egg in your body for more than six to eight hours without taking it out and cleaning it unless you're a dirty woman. So anyone that is subject to infection from using any different gemstone or wooden egg that would be my first question. Are you hygienic? Do you take it out and wash it? Or do you wear it for days and days and days on end? So another thing, people say, ah, how come? Because Dallas practice, you should use green jade, not necessarily nephrite jade, by the way. Then you should use rose quartz. And then after 10, 15 years, you can use obsidian. These are metaphysical reasons, which is too long for me to elaborate right now. But in 2012, lo and behold, 
there was a galactic portal that opened up and changed the energy system for in, in our planet, which enabled the human beings to become even more enlightened. Because that's the way we're going, folks. We're going towards enlightenment. Now, when that energetic galactic shift took place in 2012, I had a little chat to my master up above and realized, yeah, we can branch out and we can choose many, many different gemstones to wear inside our vagina. Now, there's a lot of disgusting things going on as well. There's another charlatan after the money with an Instagram campaign, very famous woman, lifting things with her vagina. Now, it's one thing to say shooting ping pong balls, ha 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 ha, and it's another thing to do it in public. So I think, goodness gracious me, 60 years ago, women are getting arrested for indecency because their bathing suit, which looks like a scuba diving suit, is not the right height above or below the knee and they're getting arrested for indecency. And now we have this woman, certain women, lifting weights with their vagina on Californian beaches with little children and their fathers taking photos. Wow, that woman's lifting weights with her, a surfboard with her vagina. And I think, really? Is this, is this really what you want our daughters and our sons to see? Because that's kind of like white trash really i mean you can dress them up but you can't really take them out do we want to see some guy lifting a surfboard with his testicles in front of our children and take photos and think that's great <laughs> dear oh dear what's happened with society where's the decency let's get back to basics let's get back to dignity this woman they talk about jade eggs come were worn by the empresses and the empress concubines in ancient china and yeah, that's true, honey, but I think if you're lifting the French crockery with one of these in front of the emperor, you might just get beheaded. And I think, I dare you to go and do that in Thailand, where the women, women have to whore for a living to shoot ping pong balls out of their vagina. I dare you to go and lift your vaginal weights in Singapore, because actually, they'll kill you. So, wake up, Australia. Wake up, everybody. The truth of the matter is, they're after the money. I don't give a shit about the money. I want your pelvic full health. I want you to be continent. I want you to be strong, centered, and embodied. I think you should buy the jade eggs from my store. Why? Because I know how to spend the money. And that's on charity. I have a particular penchant for orphanages. So you put money in my bank, and that's gonna have a flow through effect to things that are good for the world. I mean, I wear gorgeous clothes, right? This dress was $7. This necklace, which I want on me when I die, is a dollar. Dear, oh dear, people wasting their money and racing for a bigger boat and a bigger car and a flasher house than their neighbor? I don't think so. What happened to love thy neighbor? The end, it is time for the money to end. It is time to love your neighbor like you love yourself, 100%. So, spending money and my jade eggs has a flow through effect because I'm a humanitarian and I, I can spend that money wisely on the charities of my choice. Whereas these other people, it seems to me, maybe they want a $300 dress. Maybe they want a million dollar house. Hello, that's not what is going on here. That's not spirituality. <sighs> center myself, get myself off my high horse and focus. Dear, oh dear, three deep breaths. I get so cantankerous sometimes. It's so frustrating. Now, getting back to why would you choose different jade eggs? Well, I'm not a crystallologist. I don't really know much about the different gemstones. But what I know is they're much nicer than plastic, and I know that you can Google the properties, and I also know they have metaphysical qualities, and they're magnetic, because they're crystals, and they're gemstones, and those have magnetic properties. So when you're choosing your jade egg, my advice is, choose the one that calls to you. 
Choose the one that you think is the most beautiful one. Then research it and see if those are the qualities of the crystal that you want to bring about in your body. Now internal weights are used all over the globe. You can get plastic ones. You can get other plastic ones where you put extra weights in them. You can get metal ones. You can get wooden ones. These ones are my favorite because they come from the earth, right? And they're gorgeous and they make you feel beautiful. So don't listen to those charlatans saying there's only one type of stone. For goodness sake, wood is porous. Wood is being used in ancient, ancient India. So I know it's confusing, folks. The, you know, the truth of the matter is follow your intuition, love yourself, do your pelvic floor exercises and follow your intuition. Don't follow people that just want your money. Don't follow slappers that lift surfboards with their vaginas in public. Come on, let's get a bit more grace and composure back in our lives and move forward to the next galactic shift, which, by the way, happens to be the end of the money. And I'm so looking forward to getting back to basics. And I so love you all more than you know. So that's my little rant about the jade egg. I hope I've answered all of your questions. If I haven't, write to me, and I'll make another little video in the right time, just the right time, just for you. Okay, friends. Thanks for listening. Over and out. Until next time. Enjoy whatever it is that you're doing in your life and be happy. Go and enjoy the sunshine or the rain or the snow. See you soon.